Hi, this is Sue from the Mountain Canary Company. Ed's going to show you how to do a couple bowlings so you can remember them. Go ahead, Ed. Hi, folks. Um, <clears throat> a bowling is, in, in definition, is a temporary eye in the end of a line. Normally they're spliced in uh, or clipped in or, or to make an eye. You've seen them all over your, your halters and uh, all around your, your gear when you're riding. But it, sometimes you have to tie it. You need that eye. <clears throat> so, that's one of the knots we're going to end up in teaching you over the years here, or the time rather. <clears throat> You're going to see, learn, be able to see lots of different hitches and knots. But I wanted to start out with the one that seems to be terrifying people more than anything. This is a piece of rope. It does not look at all like a snake. It wiggles and waggles, but it is not a snake, and it will not bite you. So quit worrying about being afraid of tying knots. <clears throat> it's not rocket science. It's one of the tools that got men out of trees or kept us out of to go back in the trees. Okay. Now a bowlin, <clears throat> I first tied, started tying bowlins when I was eight years old. My gr grandfather Tom Meehan sat me down, threw me a chunk of rope and said, Eddie, I'm going to teach you how to tie a rope that you can tie around yourself if you got one arm broke and you're in a hole. I don't know how Oh, Tom Meehan never had that crystal ball so clear. Some of the places I found myself in in the last 77 years, but he had her going. So let's show you how to tie this. I'll show you two different types. I'll show you one that can be tied as a one-handed knot, and I can show you another one that's called a snap bowling. And both of them are very easy to remember. It's none of this. Make this twist. The twist is made for you. You don't have to remember if it's twisted up or twisted down. You don't have to think about this rabbit coming out of the hole, around the tree, and back in the hole. You don't have to worry about that stuff. <clears throat> I like it simple. <clears throat> I'm a simple kind of guy. <clears throat> so, <laughs> here we go. The first thing you need to do is you have a piece of rope. It doesn't matter what kind of rope it is. But you want to find two pieces. You want to find the piece that's going to move away from you, the running end. That's the part you're going to tie. You're going to tie the knot in to another piece of section of the rope called a standing end. All right, you don't have to remember, there's not going to be a quiz. And first thing we do is we stretch, I'm going to stretch my arms out of frame here, <clears throat> is we take and we decide how big, how big a, a, a loop we want in the end of the line. Now we could make this thing as big as you want, big as all outside. You just walk it away and walk it back. <clears throat> and same with both. The, one-headed bowlin or a snap bowlin. <clears throat> in fact, the snap bowlin I first learned as a firefighter so that we could tie it around a chimney someplace or tie it around an object someplace where we had to run a rope completely away from where we were working. <clears throat> so, you take, you take first off, you take, and if, you'll, if you can get this clearly, Susie, you, what you do is you take the running end and pinch it between your two leading figures here. And the other two figures clamp it. Make a clamp like that around it. Then you take your thumb, put your thumb on top of it. Okay. That's the hardest part of this knot, folks. <clears throat> now you reach over to your, to your standing end and cross it over where you want the, the knot to be. Okay. <clears throat> now, the next thing you do is you see we still keep the same configuration. Two figures across, the other two figures holding it. Thumb now clamps the standing end of the rope and twists it. Just simply twist it away from you. Okay? <clears throat> now, with your, with your left hand, if you've got a left hand, you can, you know, if it, it, it's a one-handed, but you, you can, in this world, we can use a left hand. Pinch it right here. Don't let go of that pinch. That defines where that's going to be, and that defines where the knot's going to finish. And just bring out your loop. You can go on either side of this end, make it a left-handed bowling, or on this side, make it in a right-handed bowling. And it just simply, again, bring it up out of the loop you've just made by twisting it in, bring it around, slip her down in the hole. Hold her there, keep your finger pinched, then draw her back together again. And there's your, there's your bowling. There's your temporary eye in the end of the line. Okay? And uh, I'm not going to do it one more time. You can replay this. But So let's go to the next one. That's a very handy knot. Uh, 
I have won a lot of beer on that, telling people I could tie one hand of bowling. They didn't believe me. They should have believed me. I don't lie. Okay, <clears throat> our next way is called a snap bowling. This is probably going to be the easiest one for you to remember. You just take a piece of rope. You're standing end of your rope. Lay out how much ever you want to have your your uh, <clears throat> running end to be. Take the stand end of your rope. Put an overhand loop in it. Simply that. Again, <clears throat> just bring it around. Put a loop in it. Simple loop. Okay. All right. Now. What we do then is we take the standing end of this rope, we slip it through it. Okay, again, we're adjusting the size of the, of the eye we want. Now, get this loose enough, bring it together. Just pull these two pieces apart, but gently rendering this together like that. There's your bowling. There, I, hear, I hear a voice going back there. Duh! Is that all there was to that? Well, we've had the opportunity to demonstrate and show for you <clears throat> two different types of ways of tying a bowling that are actually very easy to remember, especially the snap bowling. With the snap bowling, you've got to be a little careful as you pull it around. You have to watch it come together. You don't pull on this, you have to pull two ends of the standing end. And you know, that's a really handy little knot. Um, it's an easy one to remember. There's a whole slug of other bowlings um, that we could tie and I could show you. I could be really, I could be king rope, rope choker here if you wanted me to be. I've been a bosun's mate and I've been taught, I've taught people tie knots on board ship. I've taught people how to tie knots in the fire department, but you're going to get a lot more knots being taught to you down the road here because it's important that Sue and I share with you. Um, so, there we are. You've got, now you've been exposed to one of my real vices, rope choking, and I want to thank you very much for coming by. Um, have a great day. We'll see you folks, and don't forget to ride often, but ride safe. Thank you folks. Good day now.